Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial series we're going to have a look at how to get started with the Laravel framework. So as of the time of this recording, um, Laravel is at 5.2 so that's what we're going to get started with. Okay, so first of all let's see how we can um, install Laravel. So right now as you can see um, I have created a virtual host with Apache and um, that's where we're going to do most of our work in this tutorial series. Okay, so without further ado, let's install Laravel. All right, so first of all, visit the laravel.com website and go to the documentation, uh, which you can find at the top here, and go to the um, subsection installation. I just want to show you um, the prerequisites or the modules that you need and the version of PHP to be able to use Laravel. Okay, so as you can see, they are listed here in these bullet points. There's five of them. Um, probably if you're doing development locally, you don't need the open SSL PHP extension, but just to be on the safe side, you might need to install it, okay? So there are two ways of installing Laravel. First is using the, um, the Laravel installer, which you can get by um, installing it using Composer, and you can just type in this in your terminal, and you should be up and running with that. But we're not going to use that method of installation. We're going to install it using Composer itself. So you can just say Composer create project and type in all of this. And at the end, you can just type in the name or folder which you want to install Laravel in. Since we're not doing a blog, um, we're going to type in our own folder. So here in our terminal, I'm just going to paste that command. And um, so instead of typing blog blog, so we're going to do dot forward slash, meaning that we want to install Laravel in the current folder. Okay, so based on how you install Composer, um, you may need to type sudo at the beginning to tell Composer that you want to um, have right access to this folder. So in my installation, I needed to type that. You may not need to type it, but you will know based on if it failed or not, depending whether you type it or not. Okay, so let's press enter. And it will take a while to install this. So I'll just pause the video here and I'll continue it when everything installs. So as you can see here, Laravel has been um, successfully installed. So what was happening behind the scenes was that Composer, which is, um, I'll actually show you where you could get Composer in a minute because um, some people might not know what Composer is or how to install it. So what Composer is, is that it's a package manager for PHP and Laravel uses that to pull in required packages like uh, PHP units and uh, etc. and a whole lot of other goodies. Okay, so um, if everything works fine, you see writing log file, generating auto load files, and um, you won't see any red errors in your console. Okay, so let's see where you can get Composer. So go to um, your browser and just uh, go to Google and type Composer PHP, and um, the first link just click on that and um, go to the download link here and it should show you based on your operating system how you can install Composer. So since I'm using a Mac, um, I just use the curl um, command in my terminal and it was that easy. So I just copied this and pasted it, but you might need to follow the other instructions as required. Okay, so that's all you need to do to install Composer. And um, as I said before, Composer is very, very important for development with Laravel. Okay, so um, so yeah, let's see what we have in our Laravel folder. So I went ahead and um, opened up the folder where in Laravel was installed, and this is what you see there. So you have the app folder, which has uh, stuff related to your apps like listeners and uh, HTTP folders and console and events. Okay, so let's put that up in our browser and see what we have. Okay, so um, I went ahead and um, as I said before, set up a virtual host. And this virtual host points to this folder that you see here, this top level Laravel folder, okay? So let's refresh that right now. And as you can see, it's listing out the folders in my um, Laravel 5 application as opposed to loading up Laravel 5 as we expect, okay? So it just so happened that you needed to point your um, virtual host to the public folder as opposed to the main top level folder okay so let me just show you what i mean by that so basically instead of pointing the virtual host to this root folder you have to point it to the public folder here so that it can do some magic with index and the ac access and all that okay 
And in addition to that, make sure that your storage folder is writable as well. So refreshing the browser, we should see Laravel 5 in the screen. Okay, so saying this means that you've installed Laravel 5 correctly and that everything is up and running. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at what routes are and how to make use of them in your application. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you're excited. I'll see you soon in our other videos. Cheers. Bye-bye.